Hey guys, what's going on? Anthony checking back in with you. A little progress on the stop animation character zombie, which has definitely transformed for your viewing pleasure. Um, I built the, obviously the base uh, so I could screw it down with some wing nuts here and here to keep the zombie in place um, with the feet. This is 832, 832s with a 832 with wing nut, 832. Uh, screw and I uh, got that from a online 832 it seems to be a good thing so what I did for the first time is I have my L200 foam from Foam Mart I have my eighth inch foam from Foam Mart and I have my uh, liquid latex from Kidcraft so this makes up the skin of your zombie if you will um, I like a good, this is my first attempt. So as, as we progress, obviously I'll probably get a little bit better, but for a first attempt, uh, with doing some skin and baking the jaw out, I think I did a decent job here. Um, if I don't, if I do say so myself. So uh, you can see that when you do it, you got to make sure that you can raise the arms, lower the arms and, you know, be able to animate the character as you create. So, so slightly right about here, you can see where I'm going to peel up some latex that I did color with some red food dye. And I'm going to lay it on the skin to create a little bit more of a bloody tone because obviously a zombie in all white is not that terrifying. So this is a quick update to where I am and more or less a historical uh, video to show my progression as I go. So obviously the head, the head pops off um, and it also has that latex. And uh, so you can, we're getting there. So sooner or later, I'll uh, have the zombie done. I'll make another couple characters. I'll build out my set um, over in the other side of the studio here. And I'll be able to do some stop animation shorts. But just a quick update for you guys and I will, Touch base with you guys again very soon, and we shall talk to you guys in the near future. Have a great day, and we'll see you guys again very soon. Thank you.